So I had this um, realization before, but I'm having it, it now too. So if, if I distill the knowing to just the sense of being and just that, It's literally the same exact sense that every other living creature would have as well. Exactly. Yes, if just to to make the point a little explicit in a little slightly more dramatic way, let, let, let's say we had the two people. Let's say yourself. Let's take it, go to another extreme, let's take Hitler. And we were to ask both of you to describe your thoughts and your feelings. They would be poles apart. But if we were to ask both of you, turn your attention away from your thoughts and feelings, just to the pure sense, I am. Your experience would be identical. 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 Like my son. Uh, it, 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 you would actually be experiencing, I'm not suggesting that you would be experiencing pure being over there and he would be experiencing no. pure. You'd be experiencing the, the same, same being. being. Yes. And the, when I looked at my son that way, it was like I saw that he wasn't, you know, he was me. And, it, and the, well, this might not be the right way to say it, but the love he has the love I have for myself that manifests in my desire to survive one way or the other. So it's always, whatever I do, it's always, as you say, for my happiness. In the end, even if it seems selfless, it's always because of the love I have for myself. That's the same exact love that he has for himself or every single creature has for itself. Exactly. It's that sense of being, and it's like, Mind-blowing. Yes, yes the re ex you're absolutely right. The reason we want, we wish happiness for ourself is because we love ourself, not yes. our personal self. We yes. love the self above all else. And that's why, as an inevitable consequence of this understanding, because we want happiness for ourself, because we love ourself above all else, we want happiness for everyone, because we love everyone's self as ourself. Well, then I was, I wasn't really here in this body anymore because I was, but I, I, I wasn't, it, the body was in space because being is everywhere. <laughs> that's what yes, I'm, yes. That, that, that's why, uh, that, that's why when we, we turn the, the news on and we see the image of a child suffering on the other side of the world, it, it breaks our heart. Yes. Because we want that child to be happy for exactly the same reason that we want ourself to be happy. Because we feel that the self of that child is, is. our self. And just as we, it breaks our heart to be unhappy, it breaks our heart to see somebody else that is unhappy. But this realization is more than just empathy in the sense of what I used to feel, empathy. Well, this this is, is literally like... This is real I empathy. I am the other. Yeah. Empathy it mean, can mean two things. It can be sympathizing with somebody else's feelings or sympathizing with their being. Yes. Real empathy is sympathizing with their being, knowing yourself as their self. And as a result of that, feeling their feelings as if they were your own. Which makes you want to cry with them when they are sad. But you don't just feel their sadness as your own, you feel their joy, joy. as your own. So you cry with them when, you're, when they're sad and you laugh with them when they're happy. 